Hey, Mike Swenson here with the Elite Advantage team. One of the questions we get asked a lot as a real estate agent is questions in regards to school districts. How do I know if I'm in a good school district? Where do I go to research school districts? What are some tips, tricks, things that I need to think about when picking a school district? And so in this video, we're gonna cover a lot of that information. So stay tuned and check it out. Let's go ahead and dig into a conversation on school districts. So one of the questions we often get asked is, what is a good school district? Uh, would you send your kids to this school district? And as a real estate agent, uh, we're actually not allowed to answer that question for you. Um, fair housing laws prevent us from giving subjective information about schools. What I might consider to be good might be different than what somebody else considers to be good. And so we can, what we can do is we can point you in the right direction to help you do your own research. So one of the ways that we can do that is we've got a couple of great websites that we like to point people to. One is greatschools.org and another one that we really like is schooldigger.com. So both of those websites give fantastic information, statistics, rankings, reviews, information about test scores, classroom sizes, demographic information and all that. So that's a great tool for you to, if, you've, if you really don't know where you want to look or maybe you're looking in a certain radius, uh, maybe from where you work um, or where you want to ultimately be, um, that's a great way to help narrow it down so you can start to see um, where are some good options for me? Um, you know, if it's within X amount of, of minutes to drive to your, to your office each day, um, you can start to narrow down that information. So that's really good if you're looking at high level or if you're moving to a, a new community uh, like the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and you really have no idea where to start, uh, this is a great option for you because it helps you pick um, starting with some of the best school districts and it really helps you to dig in deeper. So The next thing that would be helpful if you've already kind of looked high level and you maybe have some ideas of some places that you might want to check out is to go a little bit deeper. And to go deeper, a great option is going to a school district's website. So if you've nailed down a few districts that you want to research further, go to their website, find out some information. Um, you can find out when they might have um, School board meetings, you might find out when they have parent-teacher uh, association meetings, um, so you can find out what activities they provide. Um, so that'll help you to dig a little bit deeper. So I would really recommend that next step is going, checking out the school district's website. They also give information about boundaries. Um, a lot of times web, the, the school district website will post the boundaries for their, their particular district. So that'll help give more information. Um, and then uh, a, another great resource is actually going to the school and asking them. So you could pop by the, the office, uh, talk to the, um, the staff there. You could ask to maybe meet the principal. Um, and another great way would be if you pop by um, during dismissal time. You can talk to some of the parents, get their thoughts on the school district. If you happen to be eating in the area um, or, or visiting the area, talk to somebody at local restaurants, ask them their thoughts if they have any advice of, of who to point to. You can get a, get a good advice. You don't want to talk to one particular person. You might just get their um, just their opinion, but if you talk to a few, it's going to help give you a good idea if this is a place for you and if it's going to be a fit for you. So um, that's really a, a good option for kind of looking at that next level, digging a little bit deeper. Um, a few tips that we have that are very helpful. Um, these are uh, clients that we've had in the past, maybe some, some learning curves or some mistakes that they've made in the past that might be helpful to you. Um, one is in regards to school boundaries. It's fantastic if you identify a school district that you like. It's fantastic if it's within those boundaries. But just remember that those school boundaries can change. So just because you move into the district and you're at a particular school, um, that might change over time. So when you're talking with the school board or if you're talking with people at the school, ask them how often have the boundaries changed. If it's a growing area where there's a lot of population change or maybe the opposite, it might be that those boundaries change significantly over time. It might also be that they haven't changed at all for quite a few years. So um, you want to get a sense for that. Just because you buy a house in a particular school district doesn't mean it's always going to stay in that school district. So keep that in mind. Another thing that you want to do when you're researching school districts is research all the way through to graduation. If you have young kids or you haven't had kids yet and you're considering having kids, 
Um, don't just look at the elementary schools. Look how that elementary school feeds into middle school and high school and make sure that those are the places that you also want to be. Um, you know, sometimes a mistake that people might make is they think there's a, or there's a fantastic elementary school that they really love and it has great ratings and then they find out that maybe it's in a large school district and the middle school that it feeds into is actually the poorest performing middle school in the entire school district. So, um, you know, for some people they might be okay with that. For some people they might not depending on when they're going to move. So you want to look all the way through and better to be safe than sorry. Um, you might be thinking I'm not going to stay in this spot for a certain amount of time. You never know what the future is going to hold. So you'd hate to pick a great elementary school. Maybe there's a, a lower performing middle school and you think, oh, that's okay. We'll move by that time. Well, jobs change. Um, things change. The economy changes and you don't necessarily know. So uh, make sure that you're comfortable with the elementary school, middle school, and high school um, because you never know what that future holds. Another tip for people is um, understanding that strong school districts typically have higher values. So when you're thinking about supply and demand, if you're in a strong school district that people want to be, move into, uh, don't be surprised if the school if the prices of homes are much higher than some of the school districts you might be considering that aren't as strong. Um, people are willing to pay for um, a home. If you look at the same, let's just say 2,000 square foot home in two different school districts, in a strong school district, don't be surprised if that home is significantly higher priced um, because people want to be there. It's, this, it's supply and demand. Uh, when people want to be there, there's a much higher demand. There's less supply, so don't expect or don't be surprised if you see that higher price home. Uh, the other thing to think about too is in, is resale. Uh, maybe your kids are uh, getting out of school and maybe you're going to move somewhere else. When you live in a strong school district, your home typically has a stronger resale value. So as the economy ebbs and flows, as things change and the mar market becomes more volatile, uh, typically homes in, in strong school districts don't see that volatility in the same way that um, other communities might see that. Well, that wraps up the conversation today about school districts. If you have further questions, feel free to reach out to a member of our team. We'd be more than happy to answer the questions that we can for you uh, to point you in the right direction so that you can make a strong decision about choosing a, a school district that's a good fit for you and have the right information to be able to make a good informed decision. So uh, thanks so much for sticking with us today and we'll talk to you soon.